Hi, it's Pete from Pete's Retro Collectibles. Um, I've, I've been on some more Facebook pickups. Um, I've actually been charity shopping the last couple of days, but I decided to do these first. And actually, I might put some light on the subject. Let me just see how that looks behind the camera. Oh, yeah, looks better. So I went and got some more Facebook pickups uh, last week of March, first week in April. Knowing that the lockdown was coming to an end, people were selling them off and I've been able to get some decent stuff. So I got, first off, I got another Xbox 360. This is the um, the basic bog standard. There's no hard drive on this. Um, you can add one, but you don't need to, to run it. You just can't play, you can't save as many games. However, you can stick a USB in there and you can get a USB that's as big as one of the hard drives for about a fiver. Um, and probably a fast as well, actually, these days. Power supply. Uh, AV cable, which it will... This is the version which will do HDMI, I think. Yes. It does do HDMI. It doesn't have inbuilt Wi-Fi. And it has one... Two controllers which is nice and this one actually cost me 30 pounds with 15 games which uh, always nice to get some games I can't show you them because I've sold most of them already I shifted loads and loads of Xbox 360 games in the last three weeks um, I had a, a backlog but I have been doing sort of 15 20 games a day listing them not selling unfortunately they're, they're really piling up now which is good a thing really because i want to build my stock levels up to say a thousand items or more currently it's on something like 430 items right after that came my next pickup for that i had to drive into the village into the middle of the world which is 30 odd miles away which eh, i'm all right with that next was one which was a lot closer it was 22 miles round trip um, to Cottingham, a little village near Hull, and it's a really manky, shanky, dirty GameCube. And the guy who sold me this on Facebook, this is all the Facebook, told me it was superb. <laughs> well, what can you say about superb? Comes with, um, another dirty cable which is the AV cable and a dirty GameCube power supply the reason I haven't cleaned it all up yet is oh one dirty Cytec controller which I'm not sure all these buttons work because I'm not sure it's this thing here is one of those speed buttons where you can press it and program it and it's programmed to press all the buttons really fast I've been trying to find the con um, uh, an instruction manual how to change that and the reason I've and I got that and the reason I haven't cleaned that is because I was uh, repairing this there was a split in the wire you can't see one now because it's inside what I did was I took the controller apart give it a right good clean cleaned all the electricals ordered a couple of these which is what took me time and I haven't messed with that yet apart from testing the games um, ordered those two little things 249 for those delivered they've come I cleaned it all out and there's a little loop inside here of the wire and when you close the controller together once you've repaired it it um, clamps the wire in so what I did I made the loop a little bit longer and just under here there's a a motor with the vibration control so i loop the, con the wire up down and then back around so the, the split part it was only the outer cover not all the wires inside they were all fine the um there's a sort of coax shielding and then the plastic cover and that was what was split um that's all inside it's clamped up and i've tested that thoroughly so there's a fully controlled and working GameCube controller. And then there was these games. 
um, Street Racing Syndicate, which is a really nice and valuable game. I've put that up for £27. This, by the way, I told you that one cost 30 quid with 15 games. This was 50 quid, and I was a bit, shall I take it or not? But he had this. <laughs> that one's working great. He told me that this wasn't working. And he's right. Um, it doesn't have a manual. As most people know, that's like 50 quid these days on its own. Um, now I do have an uh, JFJ Easy Pro. I don't have the adapter to, to clean these up. But I'm not really concerned. I do have a buffing wheel. And I can buff these. Uh, it takes a lot longer. You've got to be careful. And you buff it with a very thin solution on a wheel. Or with some sort of... It's like a waxy con uh, solid that you put on the wheel. It works. It's a skilled job. But, and I'm sure that one... I can get that fully working. This has got a collection of Zelda games on it from the um, the previous generations of Nintendo stuff. Nintendo, SNES, NES and 64. It's got the, um, you know, about eight games on. What it doesn't have is the latest one, which is the demo that came with Mario Kart. If you try to load that, it breaks breaks the machine it breaks the disc well it doesn't break it just stops you've got to reset it and this one is the major problem I would love to tell you that I can get this clean and it'll work again but after and that's what I thought I would be able to do at the point when I bought it but after close inspection there's a little sort of line of stress down there and it's not on the surface it's on the data layer it's been bent and it's been bent back again very quickly so it's caused a stress line and it's in the silver data layer so however much I clean that I don't think I'll ever get that working again which is a bit of a pity um, and to be honest that's one of the reasons I gave him the 50 quid in the end when I saw the condition of the machine but I didn't know at the time about the disc it's not the end of the world this is going to sell for i've put it up for 26.99 i'd probably sell for 22 23 maybe then i've got diehard vendente which is about a fiver's worth maybe six couple of games shrek works need for speed underground works um i'm going to give them a quite a little light polishing anyway because they are scratched Die Hard's pretty good actually. Um, and then Star Wars Jedi Outcast doesn't work. He did tell me there was five games, and effectively there's one, two, th uh, one, two, three in there. Four. That one's not working, but the Zelda one is, sort of. He told me that works, it doesn't. And you can see if you take a good look, you can see it's all scratched. See that scratched? Yeah. Well, I'll get that working, hopefully. And the same for this one. Yeah. When I get them working, between them, they'll be worth 10 or so. That's 10, 15, maybe 20 for the other two games. Uh, 40 or so, just for those. Then there's the machine back. Um... 45 quid plus delivery maybe if I'm lucky so eh, it was it worth it yeah but a bit of extra work so the next day I saw another one on Facebook contacted the guy and he was most business like he was obviously a reseller um, and I was fine with that because the price he was offering was really quite good he offered a hundred quid for well i'll show you it was actually two bags full it was a hundred quid for an xbox 360 
with three controllers and 40 games which mm, it's not bad at all really however I did offer him 75 and he took it um, and that was before I turned up and it was all business when I got there he said here's the machine in that bag all the accessories in that bag is all the games I'm like great okay then you don't mind if I just check the hard drive so I checked the hard drive there's a little slip on it there it's got a 250 gig hard drive in which actually I have run run this machine I've run all these they're, they're all working fine and it's a nice machine and yeah so he accepted 75 so I got that and one uh, where's the other one two three controllers now the reason I was happy to give him the money straight off without even really checking much is that those that I'd already looked up on it uh, on eBay and the previous one that sold it's a Fable 3 special edition by the way that and it sold for £45.99 or £44.95 something like that um, all the controls are in excellent working condition and yeah so I was hoping I've already listed that on eBay and I've put it on for 50 quid obviously it came with a power supply there we go and for some strange reason it also came with an Xbox One headset which you know I'm happy to list that I'm not sure whether it's even compatible with the Xbox 360 but um, he gave me that and then this is the remainder of the ones I haven't listed yet FIFA 7, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, FIFA 12, FIFA 15 a couple of Batmans and Arkham Asylum Arkham Origins a couple of wrestling ones and a UFC one when they eventually get round to selling those there's like 15 quid's worth there the others some of them are already gone they were pretty good discs actually so it wasn't a matter of cleaning or testing them on which you know we're talking an hour or two to list a load and a lot of them were started selling the next day right the day after that <laughs> i can tell you it was all in the period of one or two weeks the day after that i saw another facebook one and it was um in north hull which was nice and close it was uh here we go it was 18 ps2 games and 16 ps3 games and she wanted 30 quid so that's um 34 games for 30 quid so we had a bit of um and ahhing i offered her 20 she came back and forward she wouldn't accept anything less than 27 so i offered her 25 and she took it you know um so I've got uh, these listed already and then the reason I've only got one two three four five six seven eight left out of the 18 ps2 games is because I've sold the rest already which is nice um, and these are actually already bagged because they, I've just picked them off the shelf to show you so there's the remainder of the 18 um, out of those, that's a 14, 15 pound game. Most of these are three or four quid, I think. Um, might be a couple of fiver ones in there, I'm not sure. And then I've got all these PS3 games as well. Right then. Sorry about that, if you see the camera jump, it's because I ran out of memory. Um, well, um, I've already had all my money back on the... 10 or 11 actually it was 11 games 
because in a Gran Turismo 4 case there was a spare Gran Turismo 4 disc and a Gran Turismo 3 disc which I've already sold um, at 3 quid each only get like a quid or so back after fees and delivery uh, the actual Gran Turismo sold for 7 so I come away with about 4 for that I sold uh, Groove Rider Groove Rider the day I bought these actually it was no, to like the day I listed them, I bought these about half past ten at night. Simpsons um, Hit and Run, Crash Nitro Kart, uh, Devil May Cry, SpongeBob the Movie, Scarface, The World Is Yours, fourteen ninety five. That actually pays for all the PS2 games, whether I sold any more or not, and a profit. A couple of things like Bratz Forever Diamonds and Scooby Doo Friday Nights. Sorry. Friday nights, 100 frights, night of 100 frights, Scooby-Doo, £6, that went the same day as well. And then the rest of them, we've got three Uncharted games, let me just step behind the camera and make sure it's all filming lovely. Um, these are going to my collection for the moment, because I've only played halfway through that, I'd like to play those two, so they're off the profit margin at the moment. Once I've played through them, they'll probably go online, and then uh, I'll go back to uh, selling them. Um, three Skylanders games. These are okay. Um, they're not a lot of money in those three. There's more money in that one on its own than some people are selling all three for. Um, I think if you get about, if you get five or six together, and a couple of little men, um, you can do very well. Uh, I'll probably just sell that one and if it sells fair enough I'll sell them separately if that doesn't sell then I'll list all three together then I've got some bundle fodder Haze, Avatar, TNA Impact, FIFA 12, Storm Rise, FIFA 17 I reckon there's a few more quid in that one because it's quite a late one um, yeah, I did actually chase after a FIFA 19, um, but they uh, came back and said they didn't want to sell it in the end, the bundle. Um, it's just one of those things, I suppose. Pure football bundle fodder, Fast and Furious, that'll probably go for a few quid, I'm not sure yet. Iron Man, that'll definitely sell. Deadpool, cult following, you know, that'll sell, no problem. Batman Arkham Origins. For some strange reason, this is one of the rarer ones of the Arkham ones, but that'll sell. Tomb Raider Underworld. So, yeah, not bad. Um, quite a good little uh, earner in the end. I've already sold, uh, what we go, 85 quid's worth of PS2 games. Anyway, I'll put them on there for the moment, but uh, they're not, as I, they're part of the haul, but they're not going to be part of my profit margin. So that's not so bad. I'm working on, by the time I've sold them all, those, all the PS2 games include a £58 margin. If I sold all these, including the Uncharted, then we'd be looking at a £35 margin. So that would be about £93 profit after all my um, costs, which is £25. And delivery and, and, and you know, all that sort of gear. Right, the next one after this, a pickup in Ghoul, not too far away really. It came to 40 odd miles. Uh, Xbox 360 pack, um, I was sort of flicking through it before breakfast at about 7 o'clock. I turned out this guy had put this on at about 4 in the morning. Uh, so I texted him and I said, am I the first, have you still got it? He says yes, so I said right I'll have it, I'll be around in 20 minutes, oh well it was 25, 30 minutes in the end, um, and he was happy with that, so I was there by about quarter to nine, something like that in the end. Um, it's an Xbox 360 uh, Slim, um, one of the things he did tell me was, you might see that that's a bit loose there, it's not just a bit loose. 
if you plug it in and you power it up um it slides all the way out and it just come, keeps coming and to the point where it's just falling out and you can literally go jiggle jiggle and it'll pop out and you can jiggle it back in and you can put a disc in it and it runs fine it runs and it reads the disc but the next time you eject it the whole thing falls out again and you've got all that hassle it would work lovely if all your games came on um, stick or on your hard drive so anyway it was advertised as a 250 gig hard drive and I did check and it had a 250 gig hard drive in it the reason I have got it out is I'll tell you in a minute so I gave him his 20 quid because there's some really nice games and a connect which is I've tested it's working fine and a controller with a wire and it works with the wire and it works on the on its own and another controller so two controllers the connect it has a power supply that isn't in this bag for some reason that's okay i'll uh, find it later i do have it because i know because i've tested it and then it had these games with it um and it actually had another game with it as well which i've already sold um it had um oh what did they call it the one you dance to dance it had a couple of dance games actually um dance three is already listed and it had um the last dated one anyway it's gone for 14 quid odd so i was pretty happy with that considering the whole lot cost me 20. um i checked the hard drive I, as i say it plugged in it worked but there was something odd about it um because the the drive said it was only something like 12 gigabyte so i pulled the hard drive and it says 250 gigabyte on the little flap but it's not the uh official one it's a generic box so i open the box up and it's got a 20 gig hard drive inside so i've got this 250 gig hard drive box with a 20 gig hard drive and i really want this if i'm going to repair it there's no point putting a 20 gig hard drive in it so i uh got a felt tip pen and i crossed out the five out of the 250 gig so it said 20 with a big space in between and sold it um it's already gone i got seven quid plus delivery not much but it's gone i'm happy about that because it's with the um with the uh dance game that's paid for the whole lot anyway so all this is basically uh freebie from here on the two hard two controllers the connect which is working fine and all these connect games that go with the connect i've got carnival but unfortunately this was sealed but you can see it's not sealed now is because the disc's loose in it so i've actually opened it up and I check the disc it doesn't seem to be scratched at all from its experience rattling about in the box but once I've opened it I can probably only sell it as like new so that's what I'm gonna do maybe explain the situation to the people who buy it it's still not particularly well fixed that but it's never been played then there's Fighters Uncaged, which is sealed and not rattly. Connect Adventures, which actually comes in the box, comes inside that box there, underneath the actual Connect. Um, this sensor comes without the power supply. You can, with the power supply and a couple of games, you can get 30 quid because the older machines can play with it. This one plugs into an S. Or an E without the power supply, and it doesn't have one. 
And then there's these other games that came with it. Xbox Live Arcade, which is quite good actually. Red Faction, Bundle Fodder. Grand Theft Auto 5, with its map and its manual, both discs. So that's, uh, that's about a tenner's worth. Uh, Kane and Lynch, Dead Men, not much. Driver, now that's a quite nice game and it's probably worth quite good. It's like new condition. Um, Xbox Lord of the Rings, Guitar Hero. I don't have a gun, don't, a, a dongle, I don't have a guitar, but both discs are in there. And 50 Cent Blood on the Sand without the manual. Quite honestly, don't know what to do with that. <laughs> it's definitely bundle fodder that. Um, unfortunately, I like to put decent games in my bundles these days. Um, there's no reason why not. I mean, I'm getting so many of them that it's not a problem. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Which just uh, leaves me with one more bundle. This one was um, 38 miles away in another village, the wrong side of Hull for me, but that's fine. And you might look from a power supply, it's another 360. That one's got no drive in it. I was very careful when I bought this one to make sure that the drive is a real drive. And it is. So that this is another 360 and it's another um, E with a proper full size 250 gig hard drive. Um, and it's a Microsoft Corporation full proper one, not third party like that one was. So I've actually had this running and it's fine. Uh, that's another one can go there the power supply three controllers like I say people are really desperate to get rid of these at the moment and one of the controllers has got a drifting thumb which I found out when I tested it it was sold as everything's working perfectly which is you know it's standard really if there's two controllers and everything's working perfectly one of the controllers isn't working otherwise they would have sold it off and there'd be one controller with it um, and that lot cost me uh, 30 quid um, with the three controllers it's a bit scratched you can see I can get rid of that it's not a problem and these games which he said there was eight games there's actually more than that Destiny isn't much of a game Dirt 2 that's a nice game still recording yeah you can't see these games though let's put it like that Whoop. controllers it's a good job microsoft made these work so well yeah because the, that's what happens all day long every day when people are playing with them so it doesn't really matter if it happens here right where was i destiny crap game i might be able to sell it probably not separately dirt 2 which is a nice game pity's got got a manual Skyrim with a manual no problem at all um, really good condition in fact it looks like it's been played maybe once or twice it's not scratched at all um, Forza Horizon which was in the grid box and I thought Christ, I haven't got the grid but it was inside it when I when I tested it so that's a decent game well dirty but it'll play that's a six or seven quid game as a disc only um il2 stem of it great game and all perfectly good like new aliens colonial marines with all the discs in good nick this one saints row 2 um absolutely pristine like it's never been played which is probably the case actually fable 2 it's a pity I don't have Fable 3, I could have put it with that controller. Again, disc is absolutely pristine. Um, he's obviously looked after his discs very well, even if he's thrown his manuals away. Um, yeah, well this one's got a few scratches on it. Um, but no manual. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games there, not eight. Um, I think it was advertised as eight games. 
and that was 30 quid so yeah 30 20 that's 50 25 that's 75 um, 75 for the previous one with the controller with this 50 pound controller um, so that's 150 quid 50 quid for the GameCube 200 and 30 quid for this one so that's 250 quids worth there uh, all the machines are working this one's probably beyond reasonable repair for its cost um, especially considering it would need a hard drive a repair on that um, which means splitting it apart taking it apart giving it a good clean but also finding out what was wrong with that and fixing it quite honestly i'll probably just sell it as a spares and repairs machine but the games i'll get as i say i've already had 50 odd quid back on the games that i've sold from the, that pickup and probably at least the same for the games that I've sold from that one and I've got 40 games out of that one some of which have sold so there's uh, 55 games you haven't seen that have already gone or sold or been listed and that lot as well there's 30 or 40 quids worth there so not a bad not, not a bad two weeks in the uh, gaming pickups really um the reason i did this now as i say it's two days into into lock um end of lockdown i have another uh, pickups video to do of the stock that i got in the last two days I've already started listing it so um but i'm not sure whether there's anything from that that's already sold yet so i can actually bring it and show it and do that so i'm hoping you're liking the videos up to now um you know maybe yeah uh, you could list it you could uh what do you call them thumbs up that's the one in it thumbs up and sorry that way around and uh like and subscribe if you like these pickup videos i intend to do some more so you know check back and watch them again and uh thank you bye